We don't know much about her yet, to be honest. I mean, we know she was the vice president in the Biden administration, but I mean, she wasn't a, she didn't play a major role in the administration besides immigration. I think that she's been a part of the Biden, um, President Biden's success. She's been there every step of the way. Uh, lately, she's been out talking about the abortion uh, issue. I think she's been on the trail with him. Um, she has to introduce herself a little bit more to America. Those are voters from Pennsylvania, another must-win state, looking to learn, learn a little bit more about the new de facto Democratic nominee. So what does the Commonwealth want to know? Joining us now, Democratic Congressman Madeline Dean, who represents Pennsylvania's 4th District, which includes the main line. So many suburban women out there that are so key to winning the state of Pennsylvania. And Donald Trump wanted them in 2016, certainly did not get them in 2020. What are they looking for today? And, and how will they be seeing Kamala Harris? How should she how should she be campaigning in the state of Pennsylvania? Well, good to be with you. I apologize, Katie, for my delay. I had to move locations because of a very large protest going on in the Cannon Rotunda, uh, protest in advance of Mr. Netanyahu's joint address tomorrow. So uh, sorry for my delay, uh, and uh, uh, I'm here with you now. I am very excited uh, to tell you that my congressional district, the 4th Congressional District, is fired up. Uh, I am hearing from so many folks, whether they are donors or people who knock on doors, committee people, volunteers who have never volunteered to do any of this before are so fired up about Kamala Harris campaigning in Pennsylvania and winning in Pennsylvania. We see that canvassing requests are up. We see that phone bank requests are up. People are saying to me, what can I do uh, to help this ticket? Uh, and so what I, I do want to back up a little bit to say this excitement has been brought to us because of an extraordinary president of the United States. Joe Biden, through his own discernment, through his service, uh, decided that was best for the country was to put himself aside and put country first, as he has done for more than 50 years, and then so enthusiastically to support his most able vice president, uh, who will be able to prosecute this case against Mr. Trump. The state of Pennsylvania, as we've been saying, is necessary to, to win in 2020. Both candidates obviously really want the state. Should Kamala Harris come armed with a running mate who is from the state of Pennsylvania? Should it be Governor Josh Shapiro? Not a bad idea, Katie. Uh, <laughs> uh, I could be very excited about that. Uh, I have known Josh Shapiro for more than 20 years. Uh, Governor Shapiro now. He is my friend. Uh, he is a man of faith and family and such ability. I have had the opportunity to talk to him recently. Uh, he has, he really enjoys what he's doing. You know where he's come from. He was the youngest uh, chief of staff on the Hill many, many years ago to then Congressman Joe Hoffel. And since then, he was a state representative. I then had the honor of sitting in that same seat when he went on to county government. He served two terms as a, a prosecutor, another one who could prosecute this case very, very well, as attorney general, and now as our governor of Pennsylvania. Uh, wow, that would be a fantastic, exciting ticket. And I recognize completely that this is Kamala Harris's choice. Madeline Dean of the great state of Pennsylvania, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, excuse me. Thank you very much for joining us. I appreciate it. I'm sorry you had to move, but um, thank you so much for the hustle.